Hi guys, so for today, let's make this cute crochet tulip headband. For our materials, we, we're gonna use some yarns, three color yarns, and then scissor and our hook. I'm using the 5 ply mill cotton yarn and the 3.00mm crochet hook, and the brand is Tulip. Let's make a slip knot. And then pull through and then insert your hook and make 59 chains one two three four five six done chaining 59 and then just gonna make one chain one chain and then start single crocheting in the second chain here so we're gonna skip this one and then proceed into the second chain so we can single crochet and single crochet through two loops so that's how you single crochet just to need to insert pull through and then pull through two loops so single crochet all the way done single crocheting all stitches and then chain one turn your work and then single crochet all the way so start here into the first stitch to single crochet then single crochet all the way
done with our row 2. We just need to change the color. So in order to change the color, we just need to half single crochet like this. And then grab your green yarn. Make a slip knot. And then insert your green yarn into your hook. And then pull through. And then chain 3. 1, 2, 3. This serves as your double crochet. And then turn your work like this and then skip one stitch here we need to skip this one and then proceed into the second stitch so I'm double crochet into the second stitch like this together with your axis like that and then chain one and then double crochet into the same stitch like this after that we're going to double crochet and then skip two stitches here and here and then proceed into the third stitch right here so we're going to skip this first stitch, second stitch, and then we're going into our third stitch. So double crochet into the third stitch together with your axis at the back. And then chain one and then double crochet again into the same stitch like this. After that, skip two stitches one two and then proceed into the third stitch like this after that chain one and then double crochet into the same stitch so we are just going to repeat it until the last row and we can cut our excess like that and then continue doing the pattern skip two stitches proceed into the third stitch double crochet chain one and double crochet skip two stitches proceed into the third chain one double crochet and then just do this until the last chain stitch into the third row. left with three stitches one two three so for the last we're going to skip two stitches and then double crochet into the third stitch like this we are not going to chain one and double crochet because this this double crochet right here is our last stitch for the row three then chain one to close and then cut after that just grab your pink yarn and then make a slip knot insert your hook into the third chain after that, insert your hook into the third chain. So we have one, two, three. Insert your hook 
and then get your pink yarn and then pull through like this and then chain five one two three four five after chaining five we are going to make a bubble stitch to make a bubble stitch we need to put five double crochet into the chain one space so one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four double crochet then five double crochet after double crocheting five insert your hook into the first double crochet right here like that and then get your yarn and then pull through and then chain two like that again we need to make a bubble stitch and to make bubble stitch we need to put five double crochet into the chain once space one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four double crochet and then five double crochet so just like that insert your hook into the first double crochet grab your yarn and then pull through and then chain two so we are just going to repeat this bubble stitch up until the last stitch.
Okay, so we're almost done with the row 4. So for this excess right here, we're going to cover it by putting it on the 5 double crochet. So 1 double crochet, 2 double crochet, 3 double crochet, 4 double crochet, then 5 double crochet. Insert your hook into the first double crochet, grab your yarn and then pull through and chain 2. After that, after that, um, double crochet into the first, into the double crochet here, the stitch here, that and then make a double crochet, just like this. So, we're done with our row 4. Sorry. So for this one, we are going to change color, make a slip knot, and then insert your hook, and then pull through. Do that. Chain one. Also going to hide the excess right here. So single crochet to the first stitch and then single crochet into the chains right here to the chain two. Just single crochet all the way. right here we're going to single crochet the two chains so one and two after that chain one so we are almost done with our crochet headband so after chaining one Turn your work and then single crochet all the way.
long string so chain one and then insert your hook into the single crochet here and then make a single crochet like that and then make also a single crochet here so now we have two single crochet and then make another single crochet right here so now we have three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet six single crochet seven single crochet single crochet 9 single crochet and for the last single crochet right here and single crochet so as you can see we now have 10 single crochet in the sides and then chain one turn your work and then single crochet single crochet, two single crochet, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that. And then chain one, turn your work, and now we are going to make a decrease. So first, let's cut this excess right here. And then, make a decrease. So in order to make a decrease, we just need to insert our hook into the stitch. Grab your yarn, pull through, and then insert your hook into the second stitch. Grab your yarn and pull through. After that, we are going to pull through all these three loops right here. Like that. So that's how you make a decrease. And then, single crochet. going to decrease this two single crochet right here so in order to decrease insert your yarn insert your hook pull through your yarn and then insert your hook into the into the another stitch and then pull through your yarn and then pull through all the three loops like that chain one Turn your work and then we are going to decrease. So one decrease and then make single crochet one, two, three, four. So we made four single crochet and after that we are going to decrease this two single crochet right here. through all the three loops. Chain one, turn your work, and then decrease like that. Single crochet two times, and then decrease. Chain one, turn your work, Make a decrease like that and then make another decrease. Chain one, turn your work and then make a decrease. Ch 
just like this. After that, we need to chain 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 80 and then skip this first chain right here we need to skip this one then proceed into the next stitch I mean chain and then slip stitch slip stitch all the way slip stitching this is our last slip stitch turn your work and then slip stitch into the first into the decrease here and then chain one and cut your yarn after that we need to So we need to do this into the other side. So we just need to follow this pattern right here and then grab your white yarn, make a slip knot then insert your slip knot right here chain one and then single crochet then so one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet Sa. Wait lang. Five single crochet. Six single crochet. Seven single crochet. Wait lang. Eight single crochet. Nine single crochet. And then ten single crochet. Chain one and then just repeat the pattern in this one. Okay? 